Sentence was supposed to be handed down today for the man convicted of killing a volunteer firefighter, but a judge granted a last minute postponement in this, outraging the victim's family. Dennis Falaire saw it all play out, and he had a chance to speak with the victim's mother. It's been more than five years since John Hickey was found shot in his own apartment. His family and friends thought September 11th, 2023, would have been the day he got justice. But now they have to wait even longer because Daniel Green himself argued new things have come to light in his case. Hold the drive by legs in properly. WJZ has some of the last video showing John Hickey alive before he was found shot in the head in his Upper Fells Point home in November 2017. His family has wanted justice ever since. His family might as well know that he's a murderer. And it was set to come Monday after a jury found Daniel Green guilty of first degree murder, home invasion, and other firearms charges in June. But right before sentencing, Green asked the judge to allow him to find a new attorney and to postpone sentencing, saying new evidence has come to light in his case. The state prosecutor argued the jury's decision should be respected, but the judge sided with Green, saying, quote, I want to do this right for everyone. Kimberly Hickey, John's mother, and other family and friends immediately got emotional in court. I'd, I'd love to know what kind of evidence he thinks he's coming up with because everything was shown in court and it proves it's a video that showed him breaking into my son's home. Family and friends had statements ready for the judge to hear. He would be our fourth fire, our fourth on the engine. You need four to fight fire or ride short. John was always there for us. But they tell me they'll be ready to read them at the next hearing, which they hope is the last in this year's long case. I really need to have this ending. After five years, I need closure, and this should have been it. This case will reconvene in November. Reporting in Baltimore, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ. Dennis, thank you.